Stuart McMillan. Thank you. The First Minister rightly described Scotland's drug death crisis as a public health emergency. Page 102 of the programme for government says that the government is doing everything that it, that it can. But I wonder if the First Minister really could look thousands of bereaved families in the eye and repeat that claim to them. Indeed, is, is Parliament doing everything it can? Because I think that we are not. Addition, additional funding to tackle drugs harm is welcome and well overdue especially as it follows a backdrop of successful real-terms funding cuts to alcohol and drug partnerships, which has fallen by 6.3 per cent since 2014. The First Minister could seek to legally designate a public health emergency and urgently direct the resources of our public services towards tackling this crisis. That is one of the actions that Scottish Labour has been calling for. So since the First Minister agrees that the drug death crisis is a public health emergency, when will she instruct the Public Health Minister to legally recognise this crisis for what it is? First Minister. I'm genuinely not sure I fully understand Monica Lennon's point about legally designating something. We are saying quite clearly that this is an emergency and that the actions that we take in response to that are commensurate with, with that description. I, I mean, Monica Lennon asked me to... Uh, look families in the eye. I meet families in my own constituency regularly who have been affected in one way or another uh, by drugs and, and talk to them both about what they think uh, works well and what they think needs to work better. I you know, visited just over the summer a, a project in my own constituency. So I, I know that we need to focus uh, on the, the deaths crisis in particular. It is complex, uh, but that does not mean that we uh, shouldn't and cannot have a properly joined up approach to that. Uh, I, two years ago, announced additional funding for drug and alcohol services. Uh, the extra funding today is 10 million in each of the next two years, which I know from services in my constituency will make a big difference. The Drugs Death Task Force will be instrumental in considering both the existing and the new approaches that could benefit from that money. And, and lastly, and I, I, I hope, I, I think we do have uh, the support of Labour on this, uh, we, we have to do everything we can within our powers, responsibilities and resources. But there is a bigger issue here about drug law and the effectiveness and fit for purposeness of, of drug law right now. We're seeing it uh, with the uh, debate over the facility in Glasgow or the facility that Glasgow wants to establish, but it is a more general issue. So we will continue to do everything we can, recognising the emergency, but I hope we can build even more consensus across this parliament that we need powers here to look to see whether legislative reform actually can play a bigger part in this solution as well. Stuart McMillan to be followed by Liz Smith. 